Good morning to all of you. I am Anil, retired from KCB Limited as Deputy Chief Engineer and I am currently uh, pursuing research in energy conservation behavior um, from Amrita School of Business, Coimbatore. We are currently in hydrocarbon economy as, as the fossil based fuels are used to meet the energy needs of mankind. The emission of greenhouse gases and consequent pollution of environment including global warming, ambient air quality issues are forcing the international community to shift from hydrocarbon economy to hydrogen economy. The word hydrogen is derived by combining two Greek words hydro and gen meaning to form water. Hope the screen is visible to all of you. In today's session, I wish to cover the following topics. Hydrogen as an energy carrier, characteristics of hydrogen, present production statistics, production routes of hydrogen and shades, hydrogen ecosystem development, role of green hydrogen in decarbonizing sectors of economy, bulk storage transformation and transportation, end use applications, key drivers and barriers to adoption and a typical roadmap for implementation of the hydrogen economy. Hydrogen as an energy carrier. Hydrogen is a promising energy carrier like electricity. It could be used in a variety of applications and can be stored for future use, which forms the importance of hydrogen as a fuel. Fossil based fuels emit greenhouse gases to the atmosphere to the tune of 45,874 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent as in 2018 globally as per World Bank statistics. Characteristics of hydrogen. Hydrogen is abundant in nature. Its gravimetric energy density is 33.33 kilowatt hour per kilogram. But volumetric energy density is only 2.97 watt hours per liter necessitating treatment for storage and transportation. Boiling point of liquid hydrogen is 20 Kelvin. Specific weight of liquid hydrogen is 71 grams per liter thus making it a fuel of choice in space missions. Good combustion characteristics. It's non-polluting in nature on combustion it forms only water. No uh, greenhouse emissions or no gas emissions are, uh, are there uh, on combustion of hydrogen. It offers possibility of conversion into various forms of energy through efficient energy conversion processes. Present production statistics. Globally, hydrogen is produced uh, uh, to the tune of 70 million tons per annum at present. The production is through gasification process of uh, uh, coal and uh, steam methane reformation of natural gas. Accompanied by this production, 830 million tons of carbon dioxide per year is emitted to the atmosphere. Normally, uh, the, uh, presently uh, hydrogen is used in refineries and in factories, in industries. Production route of hydrogen. Hydrogen can be produced by gasification of coal or by gasification of uh, biomass. Then uh, steam methane reformation of uh, methane, pyrolysis of methane. Then from renewable sources of electricity, hydropower, wind energy or tidal energy. Then from solar energy, uh, it could be uh, produced th through photovoltaic or photocatalysis. So whenever hydrogen is produced from renewable source of energy including hydro, wind and tidal or solar, the, 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 the end product is green hydrogen. On pyrolysis we get uh, pyrolysis of methane we get turquoise hydrogen uh, which is hydrogen accompanied by carbon black which could be used in industry. Then steam methane uh, reforming it uh, we obtain grey hydrogen. Biomass is considered as a uh, renewable source and hence biomass gasification produces blue hydrogen. But coal, uh, since it's a fossil based fuel on gasification gets, we get uh, brown hydrogen. So when brown hydrogen, if the carbon dioxide 
that is produced during production of brown hydrogen is captured and sequestrated using CCS that is carbon capture and sequestration process. We obtain blue hydrogen from grey hydrogen. Hydrogen ecosystem development. Greenhouse, green hydrogen solutions could decarbonize heavy industries, buildings and transport sectors while catalyzing renewable energy integration. As per UN agency Hydrogen Council's report, 600 million tons per annum of green hydrogen is required to meet the carbon neutral targets set, set for 2050. The hydrogen ecosystem development in India is at a very incipient stage and policy priorities the government are instrumental in accelerating the development of the entire value chain as an early adopter country and to reap the benefits thereof. The increased importance of green hydrogen in combating climate change issues by its potential capacity to free the environment from pollution, polluting emissions by making a shift from current hydrocarbon economy to hydrogen economy is gaining momentum since 2019. Role of green hydrogen in decarbonizing sectors of the economy, various sectors of the economy, enabling uh, large large-scale efficient renewable energy integration, distributing energy across various sectors and regions, acting as a buffer storage route to increase system resilience, decarbonizing transportation sector and industrial energy end uses, and serving as a feedstock to utilize captured carbon in carbon capture and sequestration processes. Benefits of green hydrogen. So green hydrogen, when it's used as a fuel, it reduces import of uh, uh, crude oil, thus saving in foreign exchange. Then it contributes to climate change issues and mitigation of climate change issues. Then attaining energy security since we are uh, utilizing hydrogen from the renewable energy. Renewable energy since it's widely available, we are uh, attaining energy security by going in for hydrogen. Then increased RE penetration is aided by green hydrogen and deep decarbonization of various sectors. The economy is also aided by green using green hydrogen as a fuel. Schematic diagram of green hydrogen. Electrolysis of water using renewable energy is used to produce green hydrogen. So hydrogen is produced after electrolysis, electrolysis of water in electrolysis. Then it could be transported uh, to the end use area either with transport transformation or without transformation. So if, uh, if it is transformed then carbon dioxide from uh, CCS that is carbon capture and sequestration processes is used to, uh, used to transform the hydrogen generated that is green hydrogen generated into synthetic fuels like E-methane, E-methane, E-methanol etc. Or through nitrogenation, nitrogenation process by Haber-Bosch uh, process to obtain green ammonia or E-ammonia, then uh, the transformed or without transformation hydrogen could could be shipped or by transport or transported by using truck, rail, or pipelines to the end use sectors, industries, steel, chemical, fertilizer, refinery, or transportation sector, ship aviation, rail, trucks, bus, cars, etc., heating and cooling applications and for power generation or at the trans uh, uh, after transportation it could be stored for future uh, energy, future meeting, meeting of energy needs. So the advantages of transformation is uh, vivid from the uh, table shown here. Hydrogen at NPP, it has uh, volumetric energy density of 3 kilowatt hour per m cube and uh, methane um, has a higher energy density it's 10 then um, compressed gaseous hydrogen that is uh, 15 degrees celsius 300 bar 733 that means 243.3 times uh, what is available for hydrogen at NTP is available volumetric energy density is available and uh, similarly for liquid organic hydrogen carriers, liquid hydrogen, ammonia, uh, methanol, etc. It carries a heavy 
um, energy density than when we compare with the energy density of hydrogen at normal temperature and pressure. For bulk storage of hydrogen, salt caverns are the best option for bulk storage. In India, we have three underground storages at Mangalore, Vishagapatnam and Padur in Karnataka with a total storage capacity of 5.33 million tons of crude built with a cost of 4,000 crores of rupees. Salt cavern is a proven technology to store hydrogen. Capacity in the UK and USA varies from 2.1 to 10 lakhs of cubic meters. It can be stored as metal hydrides like MGH to magnesium hydride and can be regenerated upon heating, catalyzed transition and the, uh, the, the, the um, hydride formation is catalyzed by transition metal carbides like tungsten carbide, zirconium carbide, etc. It can be conveniently stored inside the tubular uh, wind turbine. Transportation of hydrogen could be transported by ship, rail, trucks or pipelines. Uh, it's economical uh, to use pipelines if the distance to be transported is uh, up to 1500 kilometer. Above 1500 kilometer, shipping as liquid ammonia or liquid organic hydrogen carrier is cost effective. Hydrogen shipping can be done in compressed gaseous form or as gaseous or liquid hydrogen carriers to increase the volumetric energy density. End use applications. Blending of hydrogen with uh, compressed natural gas. Fuel in shipping, aviation, fuel cell vehicles, hydrogen hybrid electric vehicles, steel industries, refineries, chemical industries, petroleum industries and power generation. Storage option of hydrogen and synergy between offshore wind and hydrogen. Hydrogen is one of the solutions to address the intermittency of uh, variable renewable energy generation. Renewable energy curtailment can be avoided in grid connected offshore wind energy generators. Circular economy that is wind to hydrogen to steel to wind turbine blades and uh, structures uh, and back to wind. So that is possible with uh, uh, green hydrogen. Solar photovoltaic generation in Western Australia, green hydrogen is generated and then it's transported by ship to Japan for use. Uh, Japan is more energy intense. intense. And actually, um, green hydrogen is uh, 15 to 20 times more economically viable than power for achieving the transportation of, uh, of hydrogen as an energy carrier. Key drivers to adopt green hydrogen, falling renewable energy tariff and uh, increasing production of VR resources. Government objectives for meeting zero emission, net zero emissions, synergy between when, uh, VR regeneration and green hydrogen, susceptibility of green hydrogen to storage and conversion back to electricity during peak hours, thus making electricity from the synergistic system more dispatchable. Barriers to adopt green hydrogen. High production and infrastructure cost. We have to incur a lot of uh, cost um, for uh, establishing electrolyzers and uh, infrastructures for producing green hydrogen. Then fuel cell electric vehicles is a uh, costlier option at the initial stages, two, two, two times at least it will be costly than the IC engine vehicles. Energy losses in value chain. That is um, for um, converting renewable energy to hydrogen. Um, we need to um, have. We need to spend uh, the efficiency that is uh, available is only 66 percentage. And for uh, transformation of green hydrogen into uh, energy dense uh, byproducts, we have to uh, spend more energy for the operation as well as capital expenditure arena. Uh, etc. It causes more energy losses in the value chain. Then lack of value recognition as on date we don't have uh, or the international community has not identified hydrogen as a fuel in the energy mix of uh, mix for total final energy con consumption of any any economy or global energy mix. 
ensuring sustainability that is electricity uh, produced uh, uh, are available in the grid is not always uh, uh, renewable so it could be the the, the guarantees of origin of uh, electricity uh, is to be ensured operational safety hydrogen is uh, combustible um, and the fire that is uh, uh, generated that is uh, that is uh, produced is not normally visible to the visible to naked eye we have to have uh, infra infrared or ultraviolet sensors to see the uh, combustion of hydrogen then problems with liquefaction that is uh, uh, to temp temperature we uh, hydrogen has to be cooled to 7 uh, 20 kelvin uh, to uh, to make it liquid and uh, to um, attain such temperatures lower temperatures it's very difficult and to maintain such lower temperatures also is liquid uh, also is difficult problems with piping infrastructure that is um, normally um, hydrogen gets entrapped and or hydrogen embrittlement occurs um, when transporting hydrogen through steel pipes and so better insulation of uh, piping is required problems with blending that is um, 20 percentage a maximum of 20 percentage blending of hydrogen can be done with cng at the present stage with at the present uh, in the present in the presently available cng piping infrastructure and to uh, to reduce the uh, carbon uh, carbonization effect in the atmosphere lack of strategic policies from the government then lack of uh, skilled manpower and training, lack of awareness, all are barriers to adopt green hydrogen. The policy priorities the government of the government to aid transition to hydrogen economy, they are provisions of provision of rebates and grants. Actually, for any um, newer technology during the adoption stage, um, rebate, grants, tax holidays, uh, etc. are required from the government side to improve the uh, improve the use and uh, extent of application, Ex exemption from taxes and import duties uh, of, uh, of electrolyzers and uh, um, necessary infrastructure, product linked initiatives of the government in promoting green hydrogen economy, policy firmness over a long period of time, investor friendly atmosphere creation and risk reduction, harmonization of standards uh, with uh, global standards uh, then uh, then the mitigation of barriers all these are the policy priorities the government and government should act in such a way as to uh, increase or to uh, enhance the hydrogen economy concept a typical roadmap for implementation of hydrogen economy has been developed as a short term, medium term, long term, short term consisting of 2021 2025, medium term 2021 2035, long term 2025 to 2050. In short term, the activities that are enlisted are kilowatt scale electrolyzer development, hydrogen blending, retrofitting of CNG pipelines, storage infrastructure creation, pressurization of hydrogen, carbon sequestration and storage processes sustainable aviation fuel uh, production of sustainable aviation fuel fuel cell electric vehicle introduction hybrid battery electric vehicle fuel cell electric vehicle implementation blue hydrogen for industries that is hydrogen uh, converted after uh, hydrogen produced after uh, carbon capture and sequestration research development and deployment of hydrogen value chain and the mid medium term mid megawatt scale electrolyzer deployment, green hydrogen production and utilization, power to heat and power to hydrogen implementation, liquefaction and storage of hydrogen, hydrogen value chain development, distribution to refueling stations, fuel cell electric vehicles, fuel cell plug-in hybrid electric vehicles deployment, hydrogen trains, hydrogen buses, fuel cell electric vehicle long haul trucks, focused R&D in specialized sectors including improvement of efficiency of liquefaction and electrolyzer efficiency, scalability, cooling cycle efficiency improvement etc. are included in medium term and the long term um, gigawatt scale electrolyzer development and deployment, uh, green hydrogen bulk storage in salt caverns, 
green hydrogen bulk transportation by trucks, rail, uh, ship and pipes, transformed hydrogen storage and transport, export of hydrogen in different forms, implementation of port facilities and piping for international trade of green hydrogen, green hydrogen for industries, aviation and shipping, green hydrogen for district heating and cooling are envisaged. Uh, <coughs> with this I end the presentation. Thank you all. Thank you very much.